Yo, what is up you guys? I hope you're doing great today. Yeah, your boy's got his stuff back. Thanks to Mahir, I really appreciate you, buddy. And uh, yeah, today's video, as you guys can see, is about how to get secrets exactly and like how long it takes, right? Okay, now, before we start the video, guys, you already know to subscribe. Be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and let me know what you guys want me to make a video on so I can provide the best quality content for you guys. Now, let's go ahead and get right into the video. Okay, so as you can see, we're, we're trying to figure out how long it takes to get secrets. Right now, I'm currently summoning on Virtual Castle. Now, I I've been trying to get Amy for about an hour or so now, but you know, it turns out I actually ended up getting a shiny Clifford, which I really wanted for a long time. And since I was summoning on Hunter Hunter and I had my idol sell off on every single thing, including shiny mythics, I came to Virtual Castle without turning it off. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I sold my shiny Akihiko Kayaba and it made me very, very sad. But you know what? I'm gonna start summoning here anyway, so yeah that's <laughs> that's that but you know i feel it's different per map right and i feel each update each secret gets easier so i'm pretty sure it's easiest to get shiny i mean uh boo uh secret boo on the numic map or namic map however you want to say it i'm pretty sure it's easiest to get them and then it starts scaling up per map and starts like getting more difficult per map i'm not sure if this is directly correlated with that but it's you know it seems that way when you're summoning you know especially with the money so i think you're going to be summoning around 200,000 to 250,000 times on average right to get a secret and as you can see i've got 1.25 million stars open right and i have one two three four five secrets and i've i've gotten seven secrets i'm pretty sure yeah i've gotten seven secrets so seven times 250 that's gonna be um four and then one million seven hundred and fifty thousand summons right so i've gotten a little i've gotten a little lucky and i've gotten a lot of stars open so that's uh that's not too bad but on average i would say i would summon like around a hundred thousand times and obviously you guys can go see how much it would cost to do that on my other video i'll go ahead and put that card up here now so you guys can go check it out but uh for the for right now uh yeah basically it costs that amount and around 200,000 summons right and i feel like this map i've had a lot more luck with on uh getting amy or allison and i don't know why a lot of people have gotten allison there's one person that got it when the game uh updated uh the last update and they got it within they got it within five minutes right and they had like 1.5 luck so it just seems like seo's got that you know the power of friendship and they've got it going on over here so what i would recommend you guys do is basically save up a lot of money get to the last map make sure you guys are afking overnight if you can't no this is if you can right if you need to afk overnight i'm going to do a how to tiny task video for the people that don't have magnet right but if you guys do have magnet go check out that video on how to afk overnight that's including mobile uh you know everything mac iphone everything like that so be sure to check that out you guys and also so basically um just afk overnight so that way you can get to the final map and once you get to the final map start doing you need the guys need to be doing a lot of time trial period right you need to do a lot of time trial and with this upcoming update uh there's going to be a lot of things that are coming up i'm going to be doing a video on that and how to prepare for the update but to start you just need to do a lot of time shot right and make sure you summon a lot i would suggest trying to get as strong as possible in the game so that way you can summon on the sao map or at least the hunter hunter map because the shiny secret gone and shiny secret amy both have the same amount of um m1 dps i don't know about the ultimate dps but i know the m1 damage is 150 million maxed out level 120. so like i said i would recommend if you can afford either one go check out the video like i said i've got the spreadsheet in the description basically you guys summon a lot try to summon sometimes on hunter hunter if you can afford it summer summon on hunter hunter with auto sell on everything except shiny mythical i auto sell shiny mythical because i don't need it and i've got better units than uh, shiny buddha but if you don't have the best units go ahead and turn that auto sell off right um so 
basically auto sell everything except shiny mythic on hunter hunter as long as you can afford it if you have better units go ahead and turn it on for everything now on sao spend some of your time auto selling everything except for the shiny mythic um spend some of your time not auto selling anything besides shiny common common rare and shiny rare don't sell rares shiny rares legendaries shiny legendaries and mythics or shiny mythics you guys that'll be your form of xp but this is going to cost you some money right since you're not auto selling everything especially epics that come up a lot more than everything else you guys are going to be like using a lot of money so just keep that in mind and try to balance it out you guys that's what i would recommend and at the end of the day as long as you guys are grinding a lot time trial and everything you're afk -ing, like i said in the other videos you guys should be prepared for the update we've got another week or so basically up until saturday and there's gonna be some cool stuff coming out so like i said i would suggest trying to get as many units as possible that way you can get ready you guys and get those secrets in the upcoming update you guys already know so that's about all you guys that's all i really have to say about how to get a secret and that's really gonna wrap it up for this video so i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out